hi it's Fisher from Sawmet. welcome to my channel if you want to see how i make this beautiful dress please stay tuned now if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do and make sure to turn on the notification bell so that each time i upload new videos you get notified first You will need a basic bodice block to do this. I've got a tutorial on this channel on how you can make one. I'll put a link in the description below for you to go and follow. We'll start with the front. So trace around your block as usual. Marking the darts. Lift the pattern. Draw in your dart. Square in your waistline. Now lengthen your dress to your desired length. I'm adding 30 centimeters from the hip line there. Square another line down from the hip line. Lower the front neckline by 13 centimeters and square a line across. Widen the neckline by 4 centimeters and square another line. Now connect these two points with the curved ruler to form a V-neckline. Now I'm adding seam allowances. I'm using one centimeter. You can choose to use whatever you want. Just reshaping the neckline there with a curved ruler. Wear a line down from the armhole point using the waistline like I'm doing here make sure the line is squared go to your hemline and go out by 15 centimeters put a mark join these two points with a straight line from the corner go up four centimeters put a mark and square a line across square that one too with your curved ruler make a nice curve now i'm adding a hem allowance i'm using two centimeters for this dress and make sure to follow the new curve we just drawn cancel the dart out we don't need it I'm going to put the center front on fold for both the bodies and the skirt pattern. Now I'm drawing in my grain line for both the bodies and the skirt. Adding notches to the pattern. And labeling the pattern front bodies cut one on fold plus one lining on fold and I put my initial labeling the skirt as well front skirt cut one on fold plus one lining on fold as well and I put my initial now cut around the pattern like I'm doing here now I'm adding joining seam allowances to both the bodies and the skirt one centimeter seam allowance for the waistline and cut around the pattern do the same with the skirt pattern tap it on and add the one centimeter seam allowance cut around the pattern
the front patterns are finished and now moving on to the back trace around the pattern as usual marking all the notches and the dot lift your pattern draw in your dot square in your waistline now lengthen your dress again I'm using 30 centimeters like I did with the front pattern square line across and square another line down from the hip line lower the neckline for the back by three centimeters and at the shoulder widen the neckline by four centimeters like we did at the front Connect these two points with a curved ruler like I'm doing here. Now I'm adding a seam allowance for the neckline. I'm using one centimeter. Just correct the curve there. Square line down from the armhole level using the waistline like we did with the front. Make sure it's squared and go out from the side seam there by 15 centimeters again connect these two points with a straight line go up from the point there 4 centimeters put a mark square a line down and with your curve ruler draw a nice curve there now add your seam allowance, I'm using 2 cm, following through the curve that we just drawn there. Now cancel the dot out, we don't need it. And I'm adding my notches for the pattern. We've got a zipper allowance at the center back there, so we don't need it to this pattern. So I'm just gonna take it out. I used 1.5 centimeters, so that's what I'm gonna take out. I'll cut through that line. And I'll put the center back for the bodies and the skirt on fold as well. Now adding my grain line for both the bodies and the skirt. They should be parallel to the center back. And labeling the pattern, back bodies, cut one on fold, plus one lining on fold. And I put my initial. Labeling the back skirt, cut one on fold, plus one lining on fold as well and I put my initial too now cut around the pattern like I'm doing here now on to adding the joining seam allowances for the waistline one centimeter like we did with the front and cut around your pattern Do the same with the back skirt, tap it on, add one centimeter seam allowance and cut around it. Now our back patterns are finished as well, now we're moving on to our sleeve. You need your basic sleeve lock to do this. I've got a tutorial on how you can make one. I'll put a link below. Now trace around your block like I'm doing here, making sure to mark all the notches. Lift your pattern, square in your elbow line and your hem line, which is also your wrist line. Square down your grain line. 
square a line down from the underarm to the hemline like I'm doing here and repeat the same on this side too square a line down connect these points with a straight line now putting in my notches and continuing the elbow line to the end there and labeling the pattern sleeve cut one pair of the main fabric I'm not going to line the sleeves and I put my initial so I've lengthened my sleeve by four centimeters which is the hem allowance we put there on the original sleeve pattern and now I'm putting in my new hem allowance which is just one centimeter and adding a few more notches there cut around the pattern I'll be using the original grain line and our patterns are finished and now we're moving on to sewing so now we're going to start sewing our dress so what you need are your completed patterns and your fabrics so for the fabrics I'm going to use these two different fabrics I'm using the main fabric a floral chiffon and I'm going to line it with a poplin fabric okay and you also need some elastic one for the waistline and two for the wrists okay so the waistline one just take your exact waist measurement and also do the same with the wrist one just add a little bit of ease maybe one centimeter then i also got my cutting tools and you also need a pin to help you put the elastic through the case okay so let's start cutting our fabrics now Now we're going to cut out the lining pieces. There's one thing that you need to take note of. We're going to cut out the hem allowances for the skirt pieces, okay? Let's do that. We finished cutting all our pattern pieces, both the lining and the main fabric. So now we're going to start with constructing our bodice pieces. Now get your bodice pieces and lay them right sides together like I've done for both the lining and the main fabric and pin them along the shoulders here, just the shoulders. Now take this to your sewing machine and sew along the shoulders with a 1.5 cm seam allowance for both the main and the lining. Let's do that. So I've joined the shoulder seams as you can see. So now what we're going to do is to take the lining piece and lay it on top of the main fabric like this. And just pin right around the neckline. Okay, so now take this to the sewing machine and sew right around the neckline with a one centimeter seam allowance. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so we've sewn right around the neckline. So what we're gonna do now is to clip right round. Okay. So now we're going to go and do an under stitching right around our neckline. So what we're gonna do is to take your lining piece turn it over the seam allowance 
and we're going to just give an understitching right here on the lining not on the main fabric right around let's do that okay so we've done the understitching right round i don't know if you can see it clearly there okay so what i want to do is to just trim a little bit off this neckline here so that we get rid of a bit of bulk from there okay so i gave the neckline a nice press and it's laying nice and flat so next we're going to assemble our sleeves for the bodies get your sleeve and make sure to use the notches that are on the sleeve so that you know you're putting the right one in okay align your notches first and pin around the whole armhole So now we're gonna take this to the sewing machine and sew along the armholes but just leave about 1.5 to 2 centimeters on each end of the armhole like this okay for both sides let's do that okay so both sleeves are sewn in as you can see the next thing we're gonna do now is to finish off our side seams for the bodies so what you're gonna do is to lay your pattern with the right side up like this take just one layer which is the main fabric and just lay it on top of the back piece like i've done there now just pin along the side seams just for the main fabric okay Now take this to the sewing machine and sew along the side seams for the main fabric. Let's do that. Okay, so we finished sewing our side seams for the main dress, okay? Now with your dress turned to the right side, what we're gonna do now is to just take off the main dress and just hold on to the lining like this. So now pin along the side seams. Take this to the sewing machine and sew along the side seams as well. Okay, so that's done. I went ahead and sewn both seams and I gave them all a press, okay? So this is the inside of our dress, which is nicely finished. Yes. Now take your sleeves inside out like this. the sleeve along the side seam here now take this to the sewing machine and sew along this seam here and overlock it do the same on this seam sew along the seam and overlock it let's do that Okay, so I finished the seams for my sleeve here and I also went ahead and trim off about half the seam allowance when I was overlocking it to just avoid some bulk. So now we're moving on to sewing the elastic casings for the sleeves. So what we're gonna do is to fold under one centimeter right round and iron it for both sleeves. Let's do that. Okay, so now fold along the second notch here and give it another press, okay? Just like this, and give it another press again. I'm doing that now. Okay, so now take this to your sewing machine and give it an edge stitching. Make sure to leave a gap of about 2.5 to 3 centimeters open so that we'll be able to insert our elastic through there. Let's do that for both sleeves. Okay, so the elastic casings are finished and what we're gonna do now is to get the elastic and a safety pin, pin on one end of the elastic and we're going to insert it through this little gap that we left, okay, let's do that. Okay. 
so now we need to overlap the ends by one centimeter and sew with a zigzag stitch here so that it can stretch okay let's do that for both so now I just spread it like that now we're gonna go to the sewing machine and close the gap that we left there let's do that okay so the sleeves are nicely finished okay now remember last time when we were doing our sewing we left a spot here on the underarm which wasn't stitched so what we're gonna do is to put the seam for the sleeve on one side and just go ahead and connect this stitching here to this one and then we're going to overlock right around the armhole okay we do the same with the other side and overlock right around the whole armhole let's do that okay now so i finished overlocking the armholes nice and neat lay your skirt pieces one on top of the other right sides together matching the side seams and pin along Do the same with the lining skirt pieces. Lay them one on top of the other with the right sides facing and pin along the side seam as well. Okay, so we're gonna take this to the sewing machine and sew along the side seams for both the lining and the main piece. When we finish that, we're going to hem our skirts. So we're going to do a double turned hem, just turn under about five millimeters and give it an edge stitching. Okay, let's do that for both. Okay, so I went ahead and hemmed both my skirts. Okay. And I also finished off my side seams. I trimmed a little bit of the seam allowances here to remove a bit of bulk and I went ahead and ironed both skirts. Now lay your main skirt down with the right side up and your lining with the wrong side up like this. Make sure you know which one is the back and front. And I'm just going to put my lining through the skirt here. And I'm just going to align it nicely along the waistline, starting with the side seams here. Make sure you match them nicely. And we're going to pin right around the waistline. Now get this to the sewing machine and sew right around the waistline here with the 0.5 centimeter seam allowance. We want to be inside our normal seam allowance for the waistline. Okay, let's do that. Now get your bodies. We're going to attach the waistline together for the two layers again like we did with the skirt. So just align your side seams and pin along right round. Now you just go to your sewing machine and attach the two together with a 0.5 cm seam allowance. Okay, so I've done that. I've attached the two together for both the skirt and the top. Turn your skirt to the wrong side and your top to the right side. Now get your top and put it through the skirt like this making sure to align the front and the back well okay align your side seams and now pin along the whole waistline right round now take this to the sewing machine and sew right around the waistline with a one centimeter seam allowance 
okay so i've drained the dress at the waistline like you can see now so what i'm gonna do is to divide this skirt into quarters so we've got our side seams marked already so i'm just gonna put pins at the side seams for a start and then we're gonna put the pins together meaning putting the side seams together and just straighten your skirt and just put a little notch just put a little notch there or you can just put a pin again to mark the other quarter and do the same on the other side align the pins or side seams make a notch or put a pin whatever you choose to do now I'm gonna take my elastic, I've drained it already at the ends here with a zigzag stitch. So I'm gonna divide it into quarters as well. Now you're gonna put your skirt through like this. And we're going to align all the pins that we put there. Now I'm gonna take this to my overlocker to finish off my waistline seam and also attach the elastic at the same time. If you don't wanna do that, you can finish off your seam first and then attach your elastic on your sewing machine with a zigzag stitch, okay? Just make sure to stretch your elastic all the way when you are sewing. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so I finished attaching the elastic to the waistline and it's looking neat. And I also went ahead and gave my dress the final press. And the dress is looking nice and neat. And I'm so impressed with the results. Thank you.